I will build the best automatic farms in Minecraft that give you the rarest and most useful items in the entire game. So I plan five different farms, starting with the easier ones and moving up. But with that, I wonder which farm will be the most overpowered. Whoa! Oh my. And there magically goes my last spare totem. Well, I guess first of all, we have to build a raid farm. That gives me infinite totems, emeralds, and many other things. We'll build this in an ocean close to a village and a pillager outpost. So for the raid farm resources, I'll need simple things such as glass and cake. Uh, cake? And then I could literally just start building the infrastructure for the farm. And even though this was supposed to be one of the easier farms, I still had a difficult time. And that's where the cake's used. Now I need to push a stone block into the hopper minecart. And we can continue going up into the pillager spawning area. I have to have blocks in front of the lava or else it's going to spill everywhere. Yeah, that wouldn't be very good. Now we are actually very nearly done. I've just got to take a villager, put him on a boat and take him across to the farm where he'll live happily ever after. Right before I get to activate the farm, I need to make sure I have the best enchantments on my sword. If not, I will literally die by vexes, so I better get this right. Oh my goodness, that's one good sword. With that, I can head over to the pillager outpost and kill the main man to get the bad omen effect. Then all that's left to do is activate the farm and hope for the best. And they're actually spawning where they're supposed to. Plus, I'm still alive, which is a positive. Raids have never been easier. And for the grand reveal, look at all these totems and emeralds. The raid farm's gonna be a solid three and a half stars for me. I wonder how it's gonna compare with the other farms. Now I could do this all the time. With that, let's move on to the next project. You see, I did not run out of shulker boxes when doing bigger builds, but this problem could be easily solved with a shulker farm. That will give me more shulker shells than I could ever need. Now, skipping over all the boring resources, there are some more interesting ones, such as these bad boys. Yep, I'll definitely have enough. Some carved pumpkins and snow blocks. We'll also need 16 wither roses, which you get when the wither kills an animal. So I'll need a lot of animals and the easiest animals to get are chickens. Man, I like farming a lot, especially when it comes to chickens. And that's the first two of many, many, many chickens. Here's a cool time lapse of the chickens exponentially breeding. I see you guys have too much space, so let me quickly add some. I think there's a 12.5% chance of a chicken spawning when you throw an egg. And since we need at least 16 wither roses, we'll need 16 chickens. This should be enough eggs. Now, I also need three wither skulls for the wither. This has to be the worst nether fortress spawn ever. Oh my god, there is a lot of them. Hey, whoa, I got two from that. Yo, what are the chances of that happening? Yes, third one. Did not take long at all. <laughs> now, last thing you'll need is a splash potions of poison. And now I can make my way over to the end for the battle against the wither. And then I need to throw all of the eggs in order to spawn a lot of chickens. Now that that's done, it's time to throw poison at them. I'm sorry, guys. And now I spawn the wither under the bedrock and hope for the best. Please, I don't want to do this again. Yes, it worked. Woo! Wait, I still need to kill the wither. Uh, and we got a free beacon from that. Wait, how did you guys survive? I'll give you freedom for that. Now with all the resources collected, we can get started with the building. First, I'm going to have to clear out the area for the farm. And now let's start building the farm itself. I need to drag this armor stand into the corner and that didn't work. But this time, yes, it worked. And I gotta do this again. Nice. First, I have to name you, and now get in there, you little parasite. By the way, layering the scaffolding and slabs correctly took me hours. Not to mention the annoying redstone. Now the farm is very nearly finished. All I'm missing is a shulker. So I'm gonna need to transport one from an end city using rails. Right, let's craft up some of this. I will also take some dirt to place under the rails. And I'll place an activator rail at the end to push up the shulker when it gets there. Since I'm a logical person, I chose to build the farm right beside an end city. And with the rail work done, we could finally collect the Hey, uh, that didn't work. There's two shulkers shooting at me now. I guess you'll be easier to collect, so let's go for you. Why can't I push you onto the rail? Ah, stop shooting me! Right, I definitely had enough of this guy. And you better watch it, because you're next. Bruh, he teleported out of the minecart. Oh, finally, I've got him. See you at the farm. Oh, and he actually teleported where he's supposed to. Now, it took a while for the farm to get going, but once it did, let me tell you, 
there was a lot of shulkers. <laughs> so roughly two hours of waiting, let's check the results and oh my gosh. Safe to say that that's literally the last time I'm ever going to be using this farm. Thanks for that, guys. I really appreciate it. I think the shulker farm gets a solid three stars just because of the fact that I don't even have to use it ever again. I won't lie, it feels illegal having this many shulker boxes. Yo, this camera angle looks absolutely insane. Wait, let me go up higher now. Wait, I just ran out of rockets. Mayday, mayday. I'm crashing. Obviously, I'm joking. But I am, bro. So I'm going to build a super overpowered mob farm that would give me not only unlimited gunpowder for fireworks, but also a ton of bones and spider webs. In addition to that, I'm going to have a custom item waterfall so that I can see every single drop that I get from this farm. And I won't lie, that's going to be really cool. So let's collect the resources. Ouch. First on the list, I'll need four and a half shulker boxes of smooth stone and... Yikes. I'm pretty broke. In that case, I'm going to need to start digging. And I've got some furnaces set up here so that I can automatically smelt the stone. Yeah, it's not looking like I have enough coal either. Oh, wait. Hello there. Oh, and there's some more over here as well. Literally a lifesaver. And after a few hours of mining and smelting, I have a couple of shulker boxes of smooth stone. I absolutely obliterated this place. Then with that, we also need some smooth stone slabs and some oak fences. And I, of course, don't have enough wood. Oh, but that shouldn't be a problem since I've got a wood farm right over here. Then I'll need a lot of water buckets and some honey blocks. Yep, and I've run out of them as well. I am genuinely the poorest person in Minecraft. But that's fine, because at least we're going to somewhat change over this farm. Oh, and here's the honey farm. Yeah, ooh, we actually have quite a lot of honey here already. Oh, that's when we make a honey block. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm going to need another stack. And after three hours of AFK, I have almost two stacks of honey. I'm also going to do some mining for some raw materials. Oh my god, no, no, get me out of there. That was an actual warden. I've never really realized how annoying crafting dispensers was. And with that, we are officially ready to start the build. I think I'm going to build it somewhere over here in the ocean. And we've got to go up a lot of blocks. And then up here, I'm going to build a little platform to start things off. So first, I'm going to have to build a line of hoppers going into these dirt blocks. And then place slabs on top of them. Followed by some blocks around with some glass over here. Nice. And now comes the painful part of having to place slabs on top of all of these for multiple different layers going up. at the top I have to place these stairs around and a platform around this but I need some water and I need to place all the water buckets in here and boom that's done oh I also need to place fence gates here nice and here I've got to build a platform and then a dispenser goes here then these fences and then i literally have to repeat this platform on four different sides going all the way up oh my god that's gonna be absolutely terrible that took a while but anyways i placed torches on each one so that no mobs spawn just yet and i literally cannot wait until this farm is actually activated but now i have to build a roof for this And this is probably going to be the worst part. I have to put a water bucket in each and every single one of these dispensers. And now as soon as I flick this lever, which I just did, the farm should hopefully start working. And yes, so far so good. Hmm. And if I fly away, there should be mobs starting to spawn and there they are. And now they're all falling in there. But wait, I don't even have a chest set up. Um, yeah, let me quickly turn that off real quick. But actually, before I build the story system with the item waterfall, I'm going to need to build another one of these. And that's going to make my rates a lot better and I'm going to be hella rich. So 
have just finished building this farm and now I need to find a way to connect the storage systems of both of these. So we're probably better off with starting off from the ground up again. So somewhere over here, I'll start building a small platform and I can place a chest here that all the items are going to go into. Some hoppers. And I don't think that having this many chests will be enough storage. So I'll add two more chest layers. And this line of hoppers is where the items are going to go directly into. So here I'll need the honey wall. And this is the fun bit of placing honey. Oh, that sounds so nice. Oh, I can't jump. Let me bridge over to this farm. So I need to get these items that go into the hoppers to actually be dispensed. And... I could use a dispenser for that, I guess. But it actually needs to be activated. And for that, we're going to need to build a redstone clock. Oh, no, no. <sighs> that could have ended badly. Yeah, I need to remember to light this place up. And redstone. Okay, we did it. No, that's a very annoying noise. All right, so this is where the items drop. So I might as well put water here. And then these items will go perfectly into this water stream that I'll build here. I'll put packed ice here with an oak sign. I'm go over to the chest room and this farm should be fully connected now so i'll turn it on and see if it works uh this zombie's stuck uh i'm just gonna wait here anytime now did i do something wrong yeah i did do something wrong i haven't put any water in here now let's test it out oh 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 i see items free falling now it's a bit laggy ha <laughs> yes now imagine how many items we'll be getting with two of these running and me actually being in an optimal position right i'll quickly connect this side now now as soon as i flick this lever this farm will be fully functional or at least should be let's do a quick afk test Okay, I am really excited to see how much stuff we actually got from this. Ah, uh, I see it is working flawlessly though, and... Oh my gosh, it just keeps on going. Yeah, we basically have an entire struggle box of bones and gunpowder. That's genuinely one of the most useful farms I have ever built. And for that, this automatic mob farm will get a solid four stars from me. But my question is, will this be the most overpowered farm in this video? Now, if you care to look at the beacon outside my house, you'd notice that it's missing a resource. And that resource is iron. Well, that's because I've got none. And that's why I'll be building the latest, the greatest, newest generation iron farm. That's gonna give me as much iron as I want. And I can build the first pod. Some trapdoors. Then also soul sand here. Uh, then if I add water here, yeah, I should be jumping up and down. Hmm, this is kind of cool though. Then I'll slab over here and slabs like this. Ah, I fell the trap. Uh, right, let's try this again. I did it. Whoopee. All right, this is where the portal is going to go. And glass around this. Break walls. I cannot forget to spawn proof this because if I do, yeah, I'm going to be in big trouble. So that right there is one of the many iron modules that I have to build. However, you may notice it's missing something. I will need nearly 50 villagers for the entire farm. Oh boy. So before I finish building the rest of the modules, I need to go and get some villagers. But unfortunately, there's no villages to be found. But I remember there was a village nearly 2,000 blocks in this direction. So let's see if I can find it. Yes, uh, that's... That's it over there. Okay, now we have to get a villager to come near the high ground. So I took the composter and hopefully one should come near me. Hey guys. Yo, yeah, used to. You're chatting. Get a job like I do. I'm a Minecraft YouTuber with an amazing schedule. <laughs> hey, you seem interested. Yeah, yeah, bro. Just stand right over there. Oh, bro, he ran away from me. Hey, yo, come back. Yeah, yeah, bro, 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 bro. I got you. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is taking a while. I hope I'm going the right way as well, because uh, I literally have no clue where I'm going. <laughs> I guess we're going on a little swim. Hmm, maybe I'll get to see a shooting star. And it seems that we're here. Now, to get anywhere near 50 villagers, I will need to breed a lot of them. So I think somewhere over here, I'm going to set up an ocean villager breeder. That'll get me 50 villagers. Right, hopefully you should be safe here. Let's start off with the basalt floor. Oh, wow, that looks awfully charming. Hey, yo, I'm literally swimming upside down right now. What is this? All right, mate, you're the first one. Welcome to your new amazing place. Yep, now I need to get you some companions. So here's a second villager. Off you go, pal. Yep, get it, get it. Hey, they like each other already. Right, here's some carrots. Share those. So while these guys are breeding, I will continue building the rest of the iron farm. all 
all of them now and it's time to light up all the nether portals but it's also very important that i don't go through any of them so there we go and just uh, a lot more to go <laughs> and the last one boom it looks like i missed a portal right here we go right so now i need to find the exact center of this build which should be somewhere here and i've done this so that i can check my coordinates and i have to divide them by eight oh do i really have to do maths right now alexa what's 3796 divided by eight now i'll go through this portal to get to the top of the nether and now i need to find the converted coordinates somewhere over here i really need to get this right and i go up by 200 blocks now i need a five by five platform so this is going to be the collection system uppers and more chests on top of them I think I've done it wrong, actually. Yeah, I'm supposed to do it like this. All right, and we can build the base layer here. I, think I need to put hopper minecarts in here. And I've got to make sure to spawn proof this because otherwise there's going to be gas spawning. Oh, wait, before that, I need to place lava here. There we go. Then lava over here and here. And now I can spawn proof. And I think that's it. Should be finished. So before I bring all the villagers from over there, I will light this entire place up to protect them from zombies. So since it's night, I might as well try to get all of the villagers here. Hello, guys. Get in the boat. We're just going on a little journey. Dude, there's a guy with a trident. Are you serious right now? You want some? I'll give it to you. Bro didn't even drop anything. I really hope that these villagers were, will detect the beds. Yeah, I don't think they're detecting it. Buddy, where are you going? Why are you swimming into the middle of the ocean? Did you really detect the beds all the way over there, but not the ones right in front of you? Do you feel okay? Oh, but wait, I have an idea, though. Mm-hmm. And now I can bring these guys way closer. No, I think it's becoming daytime. Detect the bed. Detect the bed. No, where are you going? What is your plan? Why? Why? Why have I done this? Okay, so I came up with an amazing idea. I'm gonna put composters here. Unfortunately, this plan did not work. Yeah, become a villager. Go on, there's a composter over there. No, no, come back. There's a composter right here, bro. Change of plan. I'm gonna make a giant railway system. It is nighttime again. Let's try to get you in. Hopefully, he's gonna catch onto these beds over there. No, no. Are you serious? Oh my god, I think he's locked on. I think this guy is working. Yes! Yes! Success! We got one in there. That is very, very good. And over the next seven hours of my life, I transferred nearly 50 villagers to their required areas, using individual minecarts to put the villagers in and get them to go to bed. So those are the last three villagers out of all of these ones. This was the most difficult thing I've done in my life. But now I will need to collect 18 zombies. And for each of these zombies, I will need name tags. And which one of you is selling name tags? Uh, you. Oh, 20 emeralds. That's actually decent. Yes. There we go. We've got the name tags. Now I have to go into the darkness and find some zombies. Now I got to get them to follow me to the right place. No, he just killed him. Oh, man. But don't you think even for a second that this was an easy task? Your friends ain't welcome. Here. Oh, no, actually, your friends are very welcome. Come on in. <laughs> All of them dipped. <laughs> don't make any mistakes. Oh, he's coming up. No, phantoms. No, quick, get in. Get in before the phantoms get me, please. Oh, my gosh. He's in! We did it! Hooray! Now, after a long wait, I could actually see the rates that this farm produces. So I'm going to AFK for around an hour. And I am so excited to see how much we can actually get. Oh, look, there's the iron golems dying in there. Rest in peace. And so... Oh my gosh. I am mind blown. Wait, I need to get some shulker boxes. Right, let's get collecting then. So I ended up getting over three shulker boxes of iron and a bit. That was actually mind blowing. And I can say that the effort was 
maybe even worth it. I mean, I got a couple of gray hairs building this farm. And from that, I've got over 10 stacks of blocks of iron. I'm feeling a little bit mixed on this one because it's really overpowered, but it took such a long time to build. I think it ties with the mob farm at four out of five stars. And last but certainly not least, let's build a super overpowered wither farm. Right, so I got most of the things that I need right over here. However, there are a few things that I don't have. The first thing would be cobwebs and they're right over here. Mm, right beside these spawners. Oh, wait, they don't drop. Do I need to use shears? Yes. Okay. I don't need you. Bye-bye. And now I am looking for turtles. And honestly, I have no clue how difficult this is going to be. But I assume they'll be somewhere along the shoreline. No luck so far. I swear I always see them when I don't need them. But as soon as I need them, they're extinct. They're gone. Oh, we've got one turtle. I need another one, though. Hello, turtles. All right, you stay right there. I'm going to try to find another one. And I need these turtles so they can breathe and make turtle eggs. Which I could then steal off of them. Why does there always have to be just one? Why can't there be multiple? Wait, if I collect the seagrass, because this is what they breed with, will that turtle follow me? Oh my gosh, yes it will. Oh, I have an idea. But first, I'll go to sleep. And I went on a journey taking the turtle to the other turtle. Oh, wow. The saying that turtles are slow is actually real. We've got our lucky couple right here. Hmm, that's the XP that I got. I think I'm gonna have to wait for them to actually lay the eggs. Oh my gosh, that's a honeypot right here. Yes. I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but I'm seeing eggs. And I'll need nether bricks. 14 stacks of nether bricks. Ugh. Now I need to find a fortress in the nether that's in a soul sand valley. And that actually was a lot more difficult than you may think. This fortress isn't really fully in this biome, so I'm gonna need to find another one that is. Okay, I think I found the fortress that we're gonna build this thing in. And it's very messy around here. <laughs> I need to find the highest point of the fortress, and I think I'm standing on top of it right now at Y78. First of all, I need to press F3 and G so that I could see the borders. So now I need to place a chest in the corner of each of these chests chunks and i've already made a crucial mistake this needs to be one block lower i'm lucky i noticed that oh my gosh these gasps are the most annoying thing ever and then i make an extended platform from red bricks some walls now i place the turtle legs in each of the corners like this some random blocks a golem some repeaters and finally a portal there we go and that was actually most of the farm finished i just needed to build a couple of portals in the nether and in the other world to lick everything up and i could now afk for the wither skulls guys it worked oh that was literally just a few minutes of waiting and we've got five wither skulls already let's do an afk test and this is what it looks like down in the nether After an hour of being AFK, yeah, that's a lot. When it comes to wither skulls alone, we got a stack and a half. And in addition to the skulls, we have basically unlimited coal. Yeah, this farm was definitely worth it. Well, now there's only one thing to do with the skulls. And that's to farm the wither to get as many beacons as I could possibly ever want. And for this farm's simplicity and insane rates, I give this a 5 out of 5. Taking the overall win in this video. And if you enjoyed this, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video next.